वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियोरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू वोल्टेज डिवाइडर रूल सो इन दिस वीडियो वॉट आई एल बी कवरिंग इज आई एल कवर फर्स्ट हाउ वी कैन अप्लाई वोल्टेज डिवाइडर रूल आफ्टर दैट आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू टू वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जाम्पल्स बेस्ड ऑन हाउ वी कैन अप्लाई वोल्टेज डिवाइडर रूल एंड आफ्टर दैट आई एल गिव यू वन प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन and you just write down your answer of that practice question in comment box right so let us start with first agenda that is what is voltage divider rule and how to apply it so for that what i have done is i have connected resistance in series you see r1 r2 up to rn resistance are connected in series and that is connected with voltage source v now our agenda is to identify what is the voltage which is happening across r1 let us say it is v1 what is the voltage across r2 let us say it is v2 and what is the voltage that is happening across rn let us say that is vn so our agenda is to understand how to identify v1 v2 up to vn so if you want to calculate these values then first of all what i'll be doing is i'll be considering that because of this supply v in loop there is a flow of current and let us say this flow of current is i so what we will be doing is first we will be applying kvl in this loop and based on that i'll calculate value of current i so let us apply kvl in this loop so if you apply kvl in loop then we have only one voltage source in this loop and that is happening from minus to plus direction as it is happening from minus to plus direction i need to consider that voltage source as plus v and that is equals to voltage drop across all the elements in this loop so voltage drop across r1 that is current i into r1 so i need to say that is i r1 plus voltage drop across r2 that is current i into r2 so that is i r2 plus up to we have resistance rn across which voltage drop will be i into rn so that will be i rn so if you take i common then you will be having i is equals to voltage v divided by resistance r1 plus r2 plus up to rn so we have got the value of current i now we can identify voltage v1 which is happening across r1 so voltage across r1 will be v1 is equals to i r1 and i that we have calculated that is v divided by summation of all resistance so you will be having v1 that is r1 divided by r1 plus r2 plus up to rn into total voltage similarly we can have voltage across r2 that is v2 so the value of v2 is i r2 as per ohm's law and now if you substitute value of current i then you will be having v2 that is r2 divided by total resistance that is r1 plus r2 up to rn into total voltage applied so similarly we can say that voltage across rn that will be vn and that will be i into rn and that has to be rn divided by total resistance into total supplied voltage right so that is how we can identify voltage across resistance by using voltage divider rule so what is voltage divider rule voltage divider rule explains you that if resistance are connected in series and there is single loop then voltage across one resistor will be that resistance divided by total resistance into given voltage to that loop now one thing that is very essential that you should note down my dear students 
here we cannot apply voltage divider rule as if you have multiple loops this is only applicable to single loop right and that single loop should have resistance in series if resistance is there in parallel then directly you cannot apply voltage divider rule that you should take care of when you solve problems so to understand that let me give you some questions over here so here we are having one question you see in that resistance are connected in series and we are having 5 voltage supply that is given so simply we are deal with to find voltage across 5 ohm resistor so as per voltage divider rule this voltage v that will be this resistance which is phi resistance divided by total resistance so that is 2 plus 3 plus phi into voltage given to that loop so that is phi voltage over here so i can say that phi into phi 25 divided by 2 plus 3 plus 5 so that is 10 so 25 by 10 that is 2.5 voltage now as if you want to calculate voltage across r3 then that will be 3 divided by total resistance so that is 10 into 5 so 15 divided by 10 that will be 1.5 voltage and if you calculate voltage across this resistor then that will be 2 divided by total resistance so 2 divided by total resistance is 10 into voltage 5 so that is 10 divided by 10 so that will be 1 voltage now as this voltage which we have calculated that is 2.5 voltage you see here this 5 voltage that is getting drop across all the resistance 1 plus 1.5 plus 2.5 that is equals to 5 voltage so that is how voltage divider rule functions now i'll give you one tricky question so that will resolve your understanding with bit more clarity so let me give you one more question now you see here we are deal with to find voltage v across 5 ohm resistor and you see here 10 voltage supply is given in this loop but as i have told you voltage divider rule is applicable to one loop only and resistance should be there in series only here you see two resistance are connected in parallel so here directly we cannot apply voltage divider rule instead of that all you can do is you just resolve this to resistor and make it to one resistor so if you want to make this resistors into one resistor then this is 10 parallel 10 so 10 parallel 10 is how much 10 parallel 10 is 10 into 10 divided by 10 plus 10 so if you solve this this will be 5 ohm resistor right so i need to replace this two resistor by 5 ohm resistor then after i can apply voltage divider rule over here let me do that now i have replaced this two resistor by 5 ohm resistor now i can apply voltage divider rule over here so now i can say that this voltage v that is this 5 ohm resistor divided by total resistance that is 5 plus 5 into supplied voltage that is 10 so this is 50 by 10 means it is 5 voltage so 5 voltage that is happening across this resistor now if question is what will be the voltage which is happening across this two resistor then you see across this 5 ohm resistor voltage will be again 5 divided by 5 plus 5 into 10 that will be 5 voltage only right so whatever voltage that is happening across this resistor in parallel voltage will be same across a resistor so you will be getting that voltage across this 10 ohm and this 10 ohm both are having voltage which is 5 voltage only across these two resistor so that even we can apply but initially when you use that formula at that time you cannot solve that by considering these two resistor in parallel right now let me give you one homework question so in this homework question you see we have 5 voltage supply over here and we are deal with to find 
plus V voltage over here which is happening across this 5 ohm resistor. So whatever explanation that I have given it over here you just use it and definitely you will get the answer. If you have any query you just post that into the comment box I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.